Okay, so these baby squirrels are now three weeks older than when we first got them, which makes them nine weeks old. And this is their last day in this little cage. Tomorrow, they go for a big excursion into their bigger outdoor enclosure till they're 12 weeks. And, uh, and then they're released for good. But you can probably see already that they have a lot more motor control than when uh, when you were first introduced to them three weeks ago. Hello. So they're enjoying a little buffet of almonds, pecans, dandelion greens, a little bit of kale, a little bit of broccoli. And uh, I can see that the nuts are the biggest hit. Some good smacking going on here. Hi, Devil Zarko here from Unplugged TV, and welcome to another episode of Unplugged TV, where we unplug from status quo and we shift the paradigm from head to heart so that you can live a richer and more fulfilling life. And today, we're going to do part two in our baby squirrel rescue series. And I showed you a video earlier of the babies on their last few moments actually in their tiny little cage and today we're actually out to take them to a bigger cage which is where they stay for the next three weeks and they acclimatize to the outdoor environment and we're up at this uh, beautiful place where my sister's going to be caring for them. So <laughs> this is a squirrel nesting box. There's actually a little circular hole here, which I will not open because they might leap out and they're not ready yet. And like I said, they need to acclimatize to um, building nests on their own with dried leaves and branches and stuff like that. So we'll be putting some in here. And uh, they also have to get used to the cooler weather. And as you can see, it's kind of cool out today, even though it's May. Spring in Canada, you never know what to expect. Precious cargo coming through. Sorry. Here we are. This is going to be their new little home. As you can see, it's been properly taken care of by my sister, who is a wonderful interior decorator. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so the squirrel nesting box goes in, and then the little hatch is released, and then hopefully they come out fast. And then, okay, you ready for this? Okay, this has to be properly timed. Okay, here we go. Does it need to be wired on? First one's emerging. They're starting to peek out. The seven little babies have finally emerged from their little nesting box and you might be able to see them kind of scrambling around here. They're all still a little bit shy and nervous testing their new environment and we've got a day that's pretty windy out so they're going to get used to the environmental, um, environmental factors pretty quickly. Yeah, there they are. 
and they have this beautiful view that they're overlooking. Totally natural setting. And as I mentioned earlier, three weeks they'll be living in this larger caged environment while they learn to do all of their natural squirrel things. Which means that they start nesting. There's already leaves already in the nesting box, but then they get to recreate it their way. And that's what we want actually from squirrels so that they know how to build their own nests in the wild. So they're going to be learning how to forage. They're going to be learning how to be a little more nimble on bigger branches. And then the release happens, like I said, in three weeks, which means that we have to capture them early in the morning when they're all sleeping in the nesting box together. <laughs> They got a little bit of squirrel attitude right now. <laughs> we take them, so then we take the nesting box up into a tree, hammer it in there, and then we open the door so that they go through this entire process again where they get to get used to the big wild open. And that's a really exciting time. So here we go, part two on the journey of baby squirrels soon to be released into the wild. And that's another exciting episode of Unplugged TV, where we shift the paradigm from head to heart, and we learn how to live more fulfilling and richer lives by living from the heart and giving, regardless of race, gender, or species. <laughs>